am currently driving to the village of Akshu, which is the last village in Zanskar, just before the Pensila Pass. This has been a strange winter so far. Uh, it didn't snow much at all this winter, and if you see in the background, it's totally dry. Um, it's didn't snow. It's dry, and it's also a bit warm this winter compared to the other winters. So even when the snow fell, like a week or ten days back when it fell, everything melted away in a couple of days. Uh, so there is a forecast for snowfall after a couple of days on Friday. So I'm driving to Akshaya because that is the place, the village in Zanskar, which will. Receive the most amount of snowfall. Maybe Kargyak on the other end, before Shinkala will also receive a lot of snowfall. But uh, the road to Akshaya is obviously much better than the road to Kargyak. So even if it snows a lot, I'm sure that the government will clear the road. So it's much more safer for me to go towards Akshaya. I'm hoping to uh, experience a good amount of snowfall. in the coming weeks coming days uh let's see uh, there is some ice here on the road hopefully i don't get stuck and hopefully i don't slide as well yeah good This is village Apran. The next village will be Aksha, but Aksha is on the other side of the <coughs> valley, so it will have a lot more snow than what we see here. That is Aksha over there, across the river. But I stopped beside the road. um because i actually wanted to spend one night in the cold and see the night is going to be very cold around minus 30 as per my weather app whereas in central sanskar it was around like minus 20 at night so almost like 10 degrees colder so it's going to be very cold tonight so i'm just like i'll just try to cook as as uh, soon as possible i'll cook my dinner as soon as possible and then get inside my sleeping bag <sighs> yeah it's cold already once the sun went down <sighs> today i'm cooking inside the car usually i open the platform little bit outside and cook there <sighs> but it is so cold now that yeah I can't do that. I'll just cook inside the car. It is a control fire inside the car, so there is no danger of anything catching fire. But the only issue is all the smoke you know settling inside the interiors of my car and it's very difficult to clean it so i've been like cooking 90% of the time outside the car <laughs> but if i start cooking inside the whole uh, the fleece coating on top of the roof will be like completely black oh it's a big fire but yeah it shouldn't matter it's nice fire is nice the fire is nice yeah i already made chicken yesterday so i'll just heat it up and cook rice but the first thing most important thing is that i need to heat water 
boil it and keep it for the night so whenever i'm feeling cold i can just like drink some hot water and yeah i'll feel warm so the water is inside a can i have a 20 liter can below the seat where i sleep so it kind of it keeps it warm during the night so i'll collect the water now and yeah start heating it up I just uh, went to my can and saw that it's almost empty now. Then huh. I just filled it up like this afternoon, but the can was frozen before, so I had to chip the ice away. So what happened was that the tap was not closed properly, so all the water leaked away. And I have little bit, maybe I have like a liter of water now, so it should be enough for me. but yeah, it's not ideal and there is a pool of water inside my car right now so that will freeze during the night and i'll have trouble tomorrow once it freezes even this can will be like frozen solid with the ice so i'll have a lot of trouble tomorrow but can't do anything about it i'll just heat whatever water i have for tonight and i'll see tomorrow what to do tomorrow so hot water is collected and safely stored in the thermos here so now i'm just now i'm just heating up my dinner my chicken curry yeah it's cold oh <laughs> it's so freezing I just want to eat quickly and get inside my sleeping bag. Oh. This is going to fog up my car, but I can't help it. So good. It would have been nice with some rice or roti, but. Yeah, it's too cold for me to cook. And anyway, I don't have any water left. So But I have a lot of chicken, so it doesn't matter. I won't go to sleep hungry. It's amazing once you start heating warm food, even your body warms up inside. My hands are fine now. My feet are still a bit cold, but yeah, my body doesn't feel cold anymore. I'll turn it off and enjoy my chicken curry in peace. Oh. Time to get inside the sleeping bag. So 
so this is a heated mattress what you do is just connect my power bank and it has three different setting red is the warmest blue is the medium and green is the lowest so i think i'll keep it in green uh, so that my power bank will last longer so i'll just go inside the sleeping bag let it start generating some heat inside so then i should be fine for the night I'm just wearing a uh, t-shirt now. Oh. So I'll wear this extra layer to give me some warmth during the night. Because if it turns out to be really cold, then it'll be very difficult for me to get up during the night and try to put on clothes so I'll do it now itself yeah all set some water before I turn in for the night <sighs> I like this insulated mug a lot so I can keep sipping water during the night I don't have to drink everything in one go Good, nice and comfy now. Yeah. It's not even 6 p.m. but I'll turn in for the night. Listen to my audiobook. Yeah. See you tomorrow.